And we have another live look at that breaking news. We are so very close to splash down oh, yeah. for those two stuck astronauts who have been orbiting the Earth for more than nine months and they are on the way home. You can see it almost like those big parachutes kind of coming down. You're looking live at the journey back for astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams on a SpaceX Dragon capsule. So close to landing in the water. They were supposed to be on the International Space Station for 10 days, but there were leaks in the original capsule that was to bring them back down to Earth. They undocked at one o'clock this morning, and so it's been a travel all night long, all day long, and now they are so close to splashing down, and I can't imagine what their bodies are feeling with gravity finally pulling on them. Another NASA astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut are also on board, and of course, we're going to follow this all the way through if we can, because of course, we want to get that big moment as they finally make it back down into the water on Earth. It's been a long, long time for them. They've said that they've missed their families. One of them having a high schooler almost missed most of her senior year, so they are so excited, I know, to be reunited with their families, and we're also being told that they will get medical evaluations once they land to make sure everything is okay. And they were also not the longest spent astronauts in space. There have been several others who have spent a little bit longer than them in space, but still such an amazing feat there. And we are just waiting for that moment where they splash down. And Jeff, I'm going to send it to you because I know this is your thing. Let's talk about it. Yeah, so we uh, we can see inside the uh, the Dragon capsule right now with the four astronauts, three NASA astronauts and one uh, Russian cosmonaut. Looks like they're all looking happy and looks like they're hopefully nice and healthy too because they're coming back to Earth, especially for two of them. They've been in orbit for several months for close to eight to nine months. So it's been a long time. The drift down now takes a little bit. So we saw the parachutes open live while we were on the air, which is great to see that uh, successful with all four parachutes coming down. Last I checked, they were around, around 5,300 feet in height, but they are dropping quickly, but also at a normal pace, a nice safe pace as they're coming back down towards the water. This is an absolutely beautiful view. I don't think I've ever seen a view like this oh, wow. in a long time because it's daytime, so we're, uh, we're not seeing a nighttime view. So it's a very clear view. The water is, uh, is just at the bottom of the screen, drifting nicely. What is going to happen as it splashes down is that they'll let it splash down. Eventually, you'll see some crews and small boats come by and secure the spacecraft. And then eventually, the larger vessels will come in to grab the astronauts and get them to safety. But let's, uh, I don't know if we have any audio with this, but let's just take a look. This is an absolutely beautiful view right now. Of Tallahassee, Florida. And splash down, crew nine back on Earth. All right, welcome back to the astronauts. That's great to see. We'll send it now to you, uh, to you back at the desk. Yes, welcome back, Sunny and Butch.